For this one, we're told that if a box 108 cubic feet, that's the volume of the box, with a square base and an open top is to be constructed from sheet metal of a given thickness, it says find the dimensions of the tank with minimum weight. So if you see a problem like this and it's asking for minimum weight, that means that they're most likely asking you for minimizing the surface area. If you use the least amount of material to make the box, that's going to be the least amount of weight. So you want to basically minimize surface area. So let's first draw a picture describing what's going on here. So in this case, I'm going to draw, I have a box, it's got an open top to it, and it's going to look uh, something like this. So use those high school art skills here to draw this. So there we go, we got the box. And I have, it has a, uh, a square base. Now if the base is square down here, that means that these dimensions here will also be square. So it means this is probably going to go down. Let's see that part has an open top. Okay, so this is X and then I'll make this Y. Now of course if you wanted to change the variables around and use a Y and a Y and an X here, it really doesn't matter how you want to do that. Or if you want to do length, width, and height, of course these will both be the same, so you want to use the same variable no matter what because it's a square base. So I'm going to use X's and Y's, but again you might use some other variable, it doesn't matter. Okay, let's come up with a, an equation for this. So first of all, it says that 108 square feet means that that's going to be a type of uh, volume. So your volume is going to be your 108. That's equal to all these three multiplied together. So x squared y. That's going to be the first equation that you're going to use. Okay. Um, the other one though is we have to come up with an equation for surface area because I mentioned before that minimizing surface area will be a minimum weight for the whole problem. So this that this gave us, because we probably have to use 108 somewhere, so that's the first equation. Now let's come up with an equation for the surface area. We'll call that S. Now you don't have to know the surface area formula. We can just get it directly from this picture. That's why I decided to draw this. What you have here is this side and this side, that's going to be X. So I have a, this, basically I have four of these sides that are going around that have an X times a Y. So I have a four XY, that's going to be part of it. So again, this one, this one, and the two back sides, all of them have a dimension of X times Y. But then don't forget that you also have to include the base on that as well. Now we only have one of them because the top part is going to be open here. So that base, that's going to be uh, X squared because again on the bottom you have X times X all the way around and you'll have this. So this is going to be our correct surface area formula. We're not giving any information on that so it's just going to be uh, S equals. Now like all the other problems we've done before you want to have only one variable in your problem. So what I'll do is I'm going to take this first equation we came up with. I'm going to solve that for Y. So Y is equal to 108 divided by X squared you want to put this into the Y right here. So S is equal to 4X and then instead of the Y I'm going to put in 108 over X squared and then I have the plus X squared over here on that side. Now when I multiply this I'm going to get some X's to cancel out. Okay and so then I'll have 4 times 108 and so when I multiply that that's going to be 432 and that's going to be x to the negative 1 when I subtract those and then I get this as my main equation. So I want to take the derivative of both sides here. So that's prime is equal to negative 432x to the negative 2. Bring the power down, subtract 1. And then this I have plus a 2x. This part I want to set, take that and set it equal to 0. So when I do that I have 0 equals negative 432 over x squared plus 2x here, I'll turn it back into a fraction. So I want to set this equal to 0 by bringing one term over the other side and cross multiplying. So I get 432 over x squared as an equal 2x, 2x over 1. Cross multiplying this, I get 2x cubed equals 432. I want to divide both sides by 2, I get x cubed equals 216. And then I want to take the cube root of both sides. When you do that, you're going to get x is equal to 6. So now that x is 6, we can put it back up into here. We can find the y value. 
It's asking for the dimensions of the tank with the minimum weight, so they're not asking for the actual service area. They only want dimensions, so they're only asking you for the X and the Y in this case. So if I put that back into this one, I have 108 divided by uh, 36, and so if I do that, I get three. So the dimensions, if it asks for that, dimensions here, I'm gonna go ahead and put that in. That's gonna be, uh, so I have two X's, so I have two sixes, so it's basically gonna be three, six, and six. That's gonna be your three dimensions that you would put in here. These dimensions would guarantee that you have the least amount of actual material used to make the box and that's going to end up resulting in the minimum weight.